my dear students assalamu alaikum welcome to your online class in this video i'm going to discuss about measurement of cardiac output as you already know cardiac output is the amount of blood ejected by each ventricle in each minute this means that every minute our heart is pumping out 5 to 6 liters of blood and we can determine cardiac output by multiplying heart rate into stroke volume. So why do we need to measure the cardiac output? Number one cause is to monitor the hemodynamic status of the patient and by monitoring the hemodynamic status we can diagnose conditions like circulatory shock or cardiac failure. Our second aim to measure the cardiac output is to optimize oxygen delivery in critically ill patients and to assess the blood flow to tissues. So these are the causes for which we need to measure the cardiac output. For measuring cardiac output there are some direct methods and some indirect methods. Direct method means invasive methods that requires surgery but direct methods are not usually performed in the human beings. Nowadays more modern and simplified techniques are used which are our indirect method or non-invasive method. The non-invasive methods are Doppler echocardiography and transthoracic echocardiography. But for study purpose we need to know the direct methods and the direct methods are oxygen fit method and indicator or dye dilution method. Each and every method has their advantages and drawbacks but we will learn about the oxygen fit method. So first let us come to the principle of fix method. The fix principle states that the amount of substance taken up by an organ or the whole body per unit time is equal to the arterial level of the substance minus the venous level of the substance multiplied by the blood flow. Okay, first let me go through the definition again. The Fix principle states that the amount of substance taken up by an organ or the whole body the amount of substance here by substance we are indicating oxygen that means the amount of oxygen uh, organ takes up per minute or per unit time is equal to the arterial concentration of that substance minus the venous concentration of that substance times the blood flow look at here that this is the arterial concentration of oxygen minus the venous concentration of oxygen multiplied by Q Q means blood flow and this will equal to the amount of oxygen taken up by an organ and this will allow us to say if we change the equation we can also say that Q that means blood flow here blood flow also represents cardiac output is equal to oxygen consumption by an organ that means the amount of oxygen that is absorbed by an organ divided by the arterial concentration of oxygen minus the venous concentration of oxygen again I am saying the equation cardiac output or blood flow is equal to the amount of oxygen taken up by an organ divided by the arterial concentration of oxygen minus the venous concentration of oxygen. So this is our fixed principle and this is the formula that represents how we can calculate the cardiac output using the fixed principle. Fixed principle is important for your written. Sometimes uh, it comes as a tail question uh, as uh, write down the fixed principle. So let us look at this diagram now. Here this is the lungs. We know that oxygen enters into the lungs from the air. 
and this is our pulmonary circulation this is the right heart where oxygen concentration is 160 ml per liter and then this blood flows through the oxygen this is the pulmonary circulation so as the blood is flowing through the lungs oxygen is absorbed into the pulmonary circulation from the lungs and then the oxygen content will increase and then in the left heart the oxygen content is 200 ml per liter here it was 160 ml per liter here it is 200 ml per liter this means that how much oxygen is absorbed 40 ml to if we minus 160 from 200 40 ml of oxygen is absorbed in 1 liter of blood and we can see here that the oxygen that was total amount of oxygen absorbed was 200 ml per minute so 200 ml of oxygen was absorbed from the lungs into the pulmonary circulation and 40 ml of oxygen is absorbed by 1 liter of blood so 200 ml of oxygen is absorbed by 5 liter of blood if we do the math you will find that 200 ml of oxygen is absorbed by 5 liters of blood now let me show you in calculation if by using the fixed principle when we found the formula that cardiac output is equal to oxygen consumption divided by arterial concentration of oxygen minus the venous concentration of oxygen our oxygen consumption was 200 ml per minute and the arterial end at the arterial end our uh, oxygen content was 200 look at the diagram again at the artery left heart the oxygen content is 200 ml this is the oxygenated blood and the oxygen content is 200 ml and in the venous blood the oxygen that is the right heart the venous blood the oxygen content is 160 ml so if we use these in the formula 200 minus 160 ml per liter so 200 divided by 40 liter per minute is equal to 5 liter per minute so this is how we measure the cardiac output by using the fixed principle and for this measurement what are the parameters we need to know we need to know the oxygen consumption we need to know the oxygen concentration in arterial blood we need to know the oxygen concentration in venous blood so this is how we find out the parameters venous blood is usually obtained through a catheter inserted up the brachial vein if we put a catheter this is the brachial vein you put a catheter in the brachial vein and then it will go up through the subclavian vein into the right atrium then into the right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk so by obtaining blood from here we will know the oxygen content in venous blood and arterial blood is obtained from any systemic artery in the body and the rate of oxygen absorption by the lungs is measured by oxygen meter so if you know the three parameters the oxygen consumption by the lungs the oxygen content in arterial blood the oxygen content in venous blood and you put them in this formula you can measure the cardiac output and uh, the importance of fixed principle is to calculate the cardiac output and it can also be used in renal physiology to calculate the renal blood flow to other you know, so that was all about uh, fixed principle and um, measurement of cardiac output by using the fixed principle and there are two other definitions that you need to know one is cardiac index cardiac index may be defined as the cardiac output per minute per square meter of body surface area 
so it is the cardiac output per minute per square meter of body surface area and normal average cardiac index for an adult is 3.2 liter per minute per meter square of body surface area another important definition is cardiac reserve it is the capacity of the heart to generate sufficient energy for expelling large quantity of blood that means normally our heart is expelling or ejecting 5 to 6 liters of blood but there is a capacity of the heart to eject more yeah, if there is an emergency situation heart is able to pump more than 5 to 6 liter of blood and that is the cardiac reserve that means this power of the heart is reserved for emergency situation so cardiac reserve is the capacity of the heart to generate sufficient energy for expelling large quantity of blood and for raising the blood pressure above the basal level during emergency and how much blood it can generate then it can generate 30 to 40 liters per minute so this is our cardiac reserve so this is all about uh, cardiac output uh, i hope this video was useful for you thank you and allah hafiz